Okay, I want to make sure that you understand what I would call the psychophysiologic aspects of TMS or mind-body syndrome. How do components in the mind and structures in the brain work together to produce this syndrome? Here's how it works. You have to understand, of course, that there's a conscious part of the brain and the unconscious part of the brain. It turns out that 95% of our thoughts and feelings are in the unconscious part of the brain. That is, we're not aware of them. This is incredible. The human brain can take in 11 million bits of information every second, but the conscious brain can only take in 40 bits of information every second. So it's such huge amounts of information that's being poured in to the unconscious mind. When you're feeling something, that is often the tip of an iceberg of an underlying large emotional component that exists in the unconscious mind. As a child, as we're growing up, we have stresses, we have hurts, emotional hurts, stresses, things that don't go right. And when those occur, those lead to the internal child. The internal child, Freud called the id, or the me. The internal child is, what about me? And when you take uh, a toy away from a child, they get angry, they get upset. It's the same thing. When you have emotional hurts in childhood, that internal child in our unconscious mind gets angry, afraid, upset, resentful. As we go through life into our adulthood, we have more stressors, more things that bother us and upset us. And again, these stressors lead to emotional reactions in the unconscious mind of our internal child. Frequently, uh, hurts that occur as children get recreated in adulthood. A young a woman that I saw had uh, a father who would yell at her a lot in childhood, yelled at her, screamed at her. That emotional hurt lived on in her unconscious mind. When she grew up, 40 years later, she had a boss who used to yell at her, and that recreated and stimulated the, uh, this internal child, that hurt, that unconscious uh, reaction, and those emotions came out, and that's when she developed her severe headaches. Now, most of the people who see me and who are involved in TMS and, and have mind-body syndrome are nice people, are caring people, are people who want to be good and do well. They tend to internalize stress and emotions. And these are the personality traits that Dr. Sarno talks about and we talk about that lead to the internal parent. The internal parent is the shoulds, the obligations, what Freud called the superego or the conscience. People with mind-body syndrome often have very strong internal parents. They want to be good, they want to be liked, they tend to blame themselves, they're perfectionistic, they have high expectations of themselves. They try hard and they're caring and they care what other people think of them. This is one of the reasons why more women have mind-body syndrome than do men. 90% of the people with fibromyalgia are women. The vast majority of people with migraine headaches, TMJ, irritable bowel syndrome, are women. Because women are nicer, they're more caring. And so what happens is at times of stress, this internal child is getting angry and upset. And the internal parent is saying, no, calm down, don't rock the boat. And so there's this conflict that's rising within us, conflict between what we want for ourselves, the me, and what we think we should be doing, our obligation. And this conflict, this emotion, this energy needs to come out somehow, it needs to be expressed. But so many of us hold it in and keep it in, and that's the function of the internal adult Freud called the ego, which says, no, this can't come out. What happens? It comes out in the body, in physical symptoms. It comes out as emotional symptoms of anxiety or depression or panic or worry. The physical symptoms can be headaches, back pain, neck pain, stomach pain, a variety of aches and pains, bladder symptoms, bowel symptoms. And these symptoms are real. They're in the body, but they're caused by this underlying emotional content. Now, what happens in the brain? In the brain, this part of the brain is called the amygdala. This is where emotional memories lie. Emotions are forever, and this whole emotional content is in the brain structure called the amygdala. The amygdala is intimately connected to the autonomic nervous system in the hypothalamus. Part of the autonomic nervous system is the sympathetic system, which is the fight or flight reaction. When emotions get activated, 
the fight or flight reaction gets activated and these nerves and these nerves innervate all cells and fibers of the body and they can produce these physical and emotional symptoms in our brains and in our bodies. These symptoms are real, we feel them, there's nothing uh, illusionary about them and once they occur they send feedback back to the brain. The sensory nerves take this back to the brain. The amygdala gets more stimulated, more emotional content. The autonomic nervous system goes on high alert, fight or flight reaction, and what happens is a vicious cycle that can last weeks, months, years, or decades. The other thing that happens is triggers come into play. And these triggers can be things like foods, times of the day, times of the year. Had a lady whose husband died in September and every September she would have stomach pain because this, that was a trigger for her, the fall of the year. It can be the weather, it can be a place. I have a, had a, a, a patient who had uh, panic attacks in a certain place, a certain intersection in our highways. And so these triggers are very real and they're really like Pavlov and his dogs. Pavlov gave his dogs food and he rang a bell. And pretty soon, he just rang the bell and the dogs had the physical reaction of salivation. Part of the mind-body program, part of getting yourself better is to recognize the triggers that are feeding into these real physical and emotional symptoms and getting rid of them. Our salvation for this vicious cycle, for getting out of this vicious cycle of mind-body syndrome or TMS, is this structure in the brain here called the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex. It's in the frontal part of the brain, the conscious part of the brain. All this material, all this, the autonomic nervous system, the amygdala is really in the unconscious part of the brain. We're not aware of it. We don't, we don't control it on a regular basis. But what makes people human is the frontal cortex. And the frontal cortex is where our consciousness, our awareness, our planning, and deciding how we're going to be and what we're going to do. And many studies have shown that when the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is activated, that can inhibit the autonomic nervous system. And that can break up this vicious cycle that is causing mind-body syndrome and TMS. And the educational program that I've put together is mainly to activate the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex by changing our understanding about what the problem is. Yes, the physical symptoms and emotional symptoms are real, but they're caused by stress and emotional reactions to stress that have built up from childhood into adulthood, exacerbated by our own personality factors. So changing our understanding, getting hope, having positive expectations that you can get better, you can take control of this whole situation through working in the mind. And then the writing exercises, the meditations, the self-affirmations, the talking to ourselves, and improving our lives can make huge differences in this whole process. It doesn't mean you're not going to be human. It doesn't mean you're not going to have emotions and reactions. We all will continue to have those. But what we need to do is break the link between the emotional reactions and the physical and emotional symptoms that have occurred.